often you'll deliver counseling in a single modality. So you might train in CBT or person-centered and you will deliver that to clients. Some counselors, however, use multiple approaches and we call this integrative. And there's a number of different ways that integrative can be delivered. So for example, in technical eclecticism, the counselor learns several different approaches or modalities and then selects the best one for the client. So the client will come in, we'll do an assessment of them and we'll say, okay, I think that you would be best centered best suited for person-centered or you would be best suited for solutions focused. That's technical eclecticism. Then there is theoretical integration. So this is where two separate therapies are combined into a new one. So for example, cognitive behavioral therapy is a technical integration between the cognitive therapy and behaviorism. And typically this isn't something that we would do as a counselor, but something that's done for us and we would use that modality. Or there's the assimilative approach. So this is the idea that as a counselor, as we learn and grow, we learn about all these different kinds of counseling. And then the counseling that we deliver is unique to us because we are bringing in all of these different ideas and we just assimilate them all into us and into how we think the human mind works in order to best help the client. Now the advantages of using integrative approaches means that you have more options to help a client. So you, depending on who they are and the assessment, you can give them the best option available. There's also the idea that there are many different paths to truth and maybe each of the different schools of counseling provides truth from a different perspective. And of course, we're trying to give the client a different perspective. So if we can learn all of these different perspectives, then that can help us be a better counselor. There are some disadvantages to integrative approaches as well though. One is that it's lots to learn. We often might spend years learning one single modality. And so if we want to really learn everything and be an expert in multiple modalities, then that is a lot to learn and a lot of ideas to keep within our heads. There is the issue that some counseling modalities conflict with each other and they have different ways of understanding what's going on. And therefore, if we're trying to draw information from multiple modalities, how do we integrate that conflicting information? And it can also cause difficulties with supervision. So every counsellor, no matter how experienced, works with a supervisor. And this is kind of like therapy for therapists. Now, the problem is, if you're trained in one modality or using one modality and your supervisor is using a different one, then you might not have the shared language and shared concept you need to do supervision well. And of course, that problem just only multiplies when we're talking about different modalities and integrating them all together, because that takes away from the common frameworks, the common language and the common theory that the counselor and the supervisor might understand together.